Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today we're making our favorite hummus. Actually, the recipe is called Hummus We Love. And we have made different hummus, hummai, portal of hummus, hummai here recipes over the years. And this is one that we've landed on that is really, it has a new little twist that we love. And well, the thing about hummus is you can make it taste just exactly the way you want it to. Yeah, it is. It is with it, a it, basic it, recipe, and then carry on. Yeah, it's like it's like vanilla flavored something, and you can add this or that sprinkles, a you know, huge amount of flavor, or just a little bits of flavor. So this is on page ninety-one of the a plant-based plant woman warrior. warrior. Live fierce, stay, stay bold. bold, and eat delicious. You're going for the whole thing. Okay, so page ninety-one, hummus we love, and it starts with, of course. Um, one can of chickpeas, and this chickpea can, I love these because it has a pop top. And what's cool about the pop top is that when we pour, I pour it out, I pour the aquafaba, which is the water in which the, the chickpeas are holding. So I just go like this and all the aquafaba. Is we that the aquafaba it. in one can? It is. Isn't that amazing? There's That's a lot of it. shocking. It's a lot. But this has some magical properties, so we're saving the aquafaba. Uh, as the liquid in the... Uh, yeah, but, but it's, this is more than we're probably going to use, so that's why I've reserved it here. So in goes the can of chickpeas. May I make the comment that when you are buying any kind of beans, that you check and make sure that your beans have got no added salt. Yeah, these are low sodium. Sorry. <coughs> uh, two cloves of garlic, please. She likes the and lid. That's why. Oh yeah, the pop top. The pop top. It was, it was um, what I wanted. Ooh, whoa! Okay, I'm gonna get another lemon. Just lost that one. Um, whoopsie. Oh my gosh, don't trip it. It's like having, it's like having a, a, an orange fall on the bottom of your floor of your car when you're trying to drive a clutch and you don't know if you're gonna like, be able to use your clutch. A lot of people don't drive. Um, is it called manual? Was a clutch drive? It's, it's called manual. Stick shift. Stick shift. Yeah. Stick shift's manual? Because for me, Stick manual shift. sounds like park drive reverse. You're using one hand to do it. But the clutch is the thing. Yeah. So what's what's the what's the park drive reverse called then? Automatic. Automatic. Uh, okay. Is the garlic in there? All right. Here's two cloves of garlic. Do you want them chopped or just whole? The, the, the Cuisinart does the chopping. That's what's so nice about these recipes. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of lemon juice. So let's just use our eyeball here. One. Oh, that's a good one. And that's probably two tablespoons. That was a juicy lemon. You didn't see, but do you agree? Wait, do you agree? Yeah. Um, you got to have a lot of lemon. I know that, but that, I, believe me, I know that. See, and I would have, I would have measured it. There, I'm, we're getting a lot, we're getting some pulp in there, that was good. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, just get a hit of that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Gosh. It is, all right, I think I've gotten blood from the stone as they say. So after our uh, citrus, we're going to put in, you can put in one to two tablespoons of uh, tamari with, since we have used low sodium, maybe we only use one tablespoon of tamari here. Oh, let's use two. Oh, there we got one. We got one overflowy one. That'll do. That'll do. And we're going to put in, and this is optional. If you have heart disease or you're looking to, uh, you know, on your t lower, lower your numbers with your diabetes, do not use the tahini. Um, and the tahini is just really thousands of little sesame seeds. Yeah. And so tahini, but uh, it, is delicious. it adds a great mouthfeel. The hummus makes it smoother and creamier. Obviously, all those things that on a, on a no adding fat to your diet. I mean, there's, there's not, not adding fat. I mean, we aren't proponents of a no fat diet. We don't like to add a lot of fat. But this is an option that we use sometimes, especially if we're making sandwiches for the whole family. We've got, you know, 9 to 29-year-olds that with whom we are making these sandwiches. Um, okay, uh, two tablespoons. One, two. Okay. And after- That's very liquid tahini. Yeah, tahini comes in all different kinds of embodiments, or I don't know how you describe that, or what, uh, uh -huh. textures. Um, this is really, really drippy. Um, okay, the next thing we're gonna add is some cumin and some two squirts of hot sauce. Uh, and then some aquafaba for the texture. So can you get can you get a quarter teaspoon of cumin? 
And I'm going to do a little cha-cha of hot sauce, however much you like. We're gonna, we like to have like two or three squirts. Now, do you, Jane, is to... Uh, quarter, 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 quarter. That's that's like a half. Oh! Yeah, you, it's your, you like cumin, but you don't love Ooh. cumin, so... Okay, and then we're going to add about a quarter... Should I have it a little taping? Heaping? No. You don't like it that much. No, I do. You, okay, you don't? I do. All right, so I'm going to... Before I add the aquafaba, we're going to run this around. Because the aquafaba is going to tell us what texture we want. This is really thick right now. All right, like, wait, can you see the top shot here? Like, that thickness is, and that's really thick. So I'm going to start adding a little bit of aquafaba to get to the texture that we prefer. So that's probably like a quarter cup-ish I've added so far. And sometimes I want a hummus that's thick. Like, <clears throat> we have our, our cracker recipe. Like, uh, we had our cracker recipe um, coming up, and you can just scoop the... This cracker just can hold it and scoop it. Sometimes you might want to have it a little bit a little drippier. I like it for salad dressing sometimes, and then I like to have it, you know, a lot more... Okay, okay so... What do we think about this texture? I think it looks perfect. Here. Want to try that? I just want, I was going to look at it. Does it need more lemon? Mm, it's got oh. kind of nice lemoniness to it. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. It's got, I'm gonna, I don't mind, so I'm going to have it run a little longer because I can still feel the garbanzo beans or the chickpeas. They have their own fiber and body to them and the texture. They also have a little jacket, a little like translucent jacket, which is cool. It's just more fiber. Can you hear me over this machine, do you think? Yeah. So I'm just running it because it's a little bit textury still. And you can run it until it's really smooth. If you like it with a little texture, use it with a little texture. Totally your call. This is hummus that we love. Right now it's hummus that Jane loves, it looks like. Did you like it? No, I like it a lot. Oh, okay, hummus that we love still. Phew. All right, let's see. Did it? <clears throat> Did it? Here, and Oh, no, Tovolo. Tovolo taste. Okay. Hmm. See, mm. just that few minutes more is so much smoother. Ooh, that's so good. Really nice. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. This is so going to make anybody that has never done it become a make your own hummus we love. Hummuser. Hummus. Hummus. Hummus a tour. Okay. Um, we're going to make our way. I, what, what actually, what would you like? What do you want to dip in there? What should we dip in here? Fingers. <laughs> you dip your finger. I'm gonna grab a. I'm gonna grab a cucumber. Oh, here and oh, the little the little peppers, Jane. I can't find the little peppers because our, our our crisper drawer is too full. But we have these little mini cucumbers. Ha! Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna tuck mine in two because I want Wade to try this. Wade, give this a go. You're gonna love that. Do you like cucumbers? Okay. Uh huh. Good. Oh. And that's incredible. It's great with a cucumber too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm it's like the like garlic and the lemon and both are right there like revving their engines. Mmm, mm, you can taste me and I can taste you and they're in balance. They're in good balance. And it's not too salty with the low salt chickpeas I used. Mm. But we only used one tablespoon of uh, tamari. Alright, we're gonna keep crunching and eating. <clears throat> mm. Enjoy your hummus. Let us know what you add to it. All right. Oh my gosh, we have some bonus material to add to our hummus uh, recipe. And on our, in our book on page 91, we talk about lemon hummus as an option from our this basic recipe, balsamic hummus, and even black bean hummus. So we're going to show you quickly the lemon one because it's so easy. So delicious, too. We, you add zest from a lemon. Half, half, that's a big one. So half, a, half a lemon. Um, Half Heck, the thing about the zest, zest is that it doesn't have the lemon stuff, but it has the sort of power. It of has the, the sunshine, <clears throat> but not the uh, the burn. I like that. It has the sunshine, but not the burn. And then you have two tablespoons of lemon juice. And remember, the other half of this one was two tablespoons. So one and two. That's a that's definitely two tablespoons of lemon juice. All right. So 
This makes this amazing bright lemon hummus and it is delicious and bright. Uh, one of our kids prefers lemon hummus. Like she's like, oh, there's not enough lemon in this. Clearly she's spawn of her grandmother aunt. Um, but this is, this is a delicious bright way to have your hummus. Also try your, how is it? Is it alive? Definitely. Well, that, okay, your response, has, what, what does it need? You have a... Your, I was waiting to have it just fill my mouth. Oh. You know? Okay. Mm. You're the acid queen. Mm. Do you approve? I totally approve. Okay, awesome. And if you also want to try the balsamic hummus, you just add two tablespoons of balsamic and vinegar and black beans. You got to get them back in the... Do you know what my favorite, favorite thing is? Is a, <clears throat> in a little container... If you have hummus or just in a little bowl, put the just the actually I really like the basic uh, olive tap vinegar and put it just in a little place so when you have a cracker or a hummus or a carrot or something or a cucumber again <laughs> or cucumber hey Wade and you try dip it one. a little bit in the hummus and a little bit in the balsamic but oh this is a lemon hummus now. All right, we'll let you go. Thanks for the letting us add the bonus material. We forgot to add the lemon to make the lemon option earlier. Mm. Cheers. Lemon hummus to you. Brighten your day. Bye.